Hi, I'd like to show you what us therapists are talking about when we talk about shoulder subluxation. If you took a, take a look at LD's shoulder, you can see that there's this step off, right? And the easiest way to notice the difference is compare it to the other shoulder. If you look over here, you see that it's just nice and rounded. Um, there is no step off. When I come over here, it's bonk, there's a step off. So this is what we're talking about when we talk about subluxation, okay? The, the arm bone is falling out of the socket and it's this step off that we're feeling. So when we talk about reducing subluxation, and um, I invite you to, to do this with your, your client or your family member, is you can just with, there you go, just hold still baby, we're good. So relax, there we go. So I can just by lifting from the elbow, I can lift the arm up. And can you see the difference? Now it's nice and rounded here. We've reduced the subluxation. So this is the sublux shoulder, and this is the reduced subluxation on the shoulder. This is what we're trying to achieve with the positioning of the give more sling. So when we're tightening the buckles, we tighten it until that subluxation is gone. We tighten up the buckle. And we really want to keep the elbow bend less than uh, 30 degrees. And I'm just tightening the buckle in the back. Sorry, you guys couldn't see that. And, and we'll tighten this one up a little bit more. There you go. And now you can see that that subluxation, eh, there's just a hint of a subluxation there. Let's tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. Now if you compare the two shoulders, you can see that we're rounded here and we're rounded here. So that's the reduction of the subluxation. That's the proper adjustment of the give more sling to reduce the subluxation. Thank you.